All right, so today we got a 1975 DT400 and the motor let go in it a couple weeks ago. So I bought an RD400, put that in there. Um, it didn't fit so well. Had to do some uh, some cutting here in the frame. Uh, had to do a did a two to one exhaust in here. Made a custom pipe go under. It'll still connect to the factory silencer and stuff. So should be good that way. Got clearance for the for the carbs in there. And uh, this motor originally had points on it. Somebody converted it to a Neutronics electronic ignition, which is a, a good move on these. So it's time to check or set the timing on it. And uh, to do that, you uh, you put a dial indicator down in the spark plug hole. So what I did is I took an old spark plug, busted the porcelain out of it, welded it up solid, drilled it out, put my indicator in it. It gives me a good firm mount for the indicator. So we'll set the indicator to read zero at top dead center. So I'm going to bump this slowly with the Kickstarter. I've already set it. You'll see that needle go down to the zero in a clockwise direction and then start going counterclockwise. That was top dead center. So what we're going to do is go all the way around now. This will go all the way down and we'll start bringing it back up. we got to make sure we don't go too far here. Now I'll turn the ignition on. They have the spark plug right there. Try and get both of them in the camera. And uh, we're going to aim for about 65 thousandths to 70 thousandths before top dead center. 70 thousandths is a uh, 1.8 millimeter. That's a recommended safe setting for these motors. So we'll go between 65 and 70. So I'll just keep bumping this. And as it gets close, you should see that spark plug snap. Let's see, did it snap? Did I miss it? Go around again. I missed it that time too. We'll get it on one of these. Okay, there was our spark right there. And we are at, uh, we're going to read it backwards. So we're actually reading the smaller numbers on the inside. And it looks like we are at 66 thousandths before top dead center. So uh, that's, I'm going to leave that. I'm going to lock that in. That's going to be good. That'll put me at just under 1.8 millimeter before top dead center. And I'll just take a little video here of uh, where we make our adjustment. So there's two optical pickups in here. And this one's for the right cylinder. This one's for the left cylinder. So uh, you can see the previous person had this motor set at somewhere around, uh, I think it was two and a half, doing the math in my head here, yeah, about two and a half millimeter before top dead center. And uh, sure enough, when I got it, the uh, top end was shot on it. So uh, it might have been from the timing, might have been from some other tuning they have done to it. So our, our new position is about in the middle of our travel. That's normally a, a good indicator you're, you're close to where you need to be. And our timing notch, just to give you a reference where it is here, we're at the first notch. When it was at 100 thousandths, um, there's, there's the untouched cylinder. That's what that one will look like. So since we made that move, I will just make sure those are tight. And then we'll move our indicator over. And we'll do the other side. And that's all there is to the timing on it. Thanks for watching.